This week we are going to commemorate, to celebrate the 19th of Kislev. Monday night and Tuesday is the Rosh Hashanah of Hasidus. Why is it called Rosh Hashanah? Just like in Rosh Hashanah we have the New Year. In this day we have the New Year for the learning and the practice in the ways of Hasidus. It comes from uh, the commemoration of when the Alter Rebbe was held in prison in um, the Tsar's Russia under the accusation of um, conspiring against the Tsar, a false charge which was cleared and the Alter Rebbe had been uh, helping to uh, put together Kol El Chabad and sending um, charity donations to the poor Jews in the land of Israel at the time, the land of Israel was uh, under the uh, rule of the Ottoman Turks, who were at war with the uh, Russians, and so uh, some enemies of the Al-Trebe put together an accusation that the Al-Trebe was uh, conspiring to uh, give resources to an enemy nation. Once it was proven that what the Al-Trebe was doing was charity work and not uh, helping an enemy nation, God forbid, uh, the charges were cleared, and when the Alter Rebbe is uh, released, he also releases his book that he had been working on for quite a few years, the Likute Yamarim Tanya, the compilation of his saying, of his writings, called the Tanya, uh, which he called, the first part he called the Sefer Shel Beinonim, the Book of the Intermediates. The learning of this book starts, for those who follow the daily Shi'urim, on this um, coming Tuesday. The celebration begins Monday night. It's also, uh, we're going to have this week, the yard site of my um, great-grandmother, Henye Bas Rabmoshever Hakohen Crystal, and of my uh, maternal grandfather, Irachmiel Ben Yaakov. Lechaim, Lechaim. The story of the Balshamtov from the book Shivchei Balshamtov. I will tell tonight is story number 54 and it's called Simchas Toira, Simchat Torah in the house of the Balshantov. Here another reference to uh, the holidays of Tishrei. The author of the book says, Shamati Babais Harav de Kehilas Namrov. I heard in the house of the Rav of the Kehila, of the community of Namrov, that once it was Simchas Toira and the closest Hasidim of the Baal Shem Tov, called the Anshe Segula, the closest group of Hasidim, were celebrating Simchas Toira by dancing and drinking wine, that uh, the wine was from the cellar of the Baal Shem Tov. And they were drinking in big amounts, they were drinking a lot and, and celebrating. So the Tzadekes, the Baal Shem Tov's wife, came and said to the Baal Shem Tov, there will be no wine left for Havdalah. So she um, went to her husband and told him so. So the Balshemtov told, tells, no, she tells the Balshemtov, go tell them to stop drinking and, and dancing because there will be no wine left for Kiddush and for Havdalah. In reality, we are always careful to have enough wine for Kiddush and for Havdalah. At least keep a cup for each one and then whatever else you want to drink with the wine, but keep, make sure to have that much. In Simchas Toira, however, they were not measuring the limits. So the Baal Shem Tov told his wife in a joking mode. He, he was uh, laughing what he was saying. You said it well. Go tell them to stop drinking and dancing and that they should go to their house. To their homes. The Rebetzin went to them, went to the place where the Hasidim were, and when she opens the door, she sees there is this fire, flames coming all around the Hasidim who are dancing in a big circle, and the fire is also above them like chupa. She understands this is not that the house is on fire, but that there is a spiritual fire out of the power of what they are doing, so she took the um, the jar that she had and went to the cellar to fill it up with more wine and gave them as much as they wanted. 
Then the Valshentov came and he asked her, so did you tell them to go? And she said to the Valshentov, you should have been yourself, should have told them. They are playing ping pong with the responsibility of who will say, because nobody really wants to stop the Hasidim from celebrating when such a special fiery celebration is taking place. Lechaim Lechaim, it should be a week of happiness and a week of joy and a week that knows no limits and how much we are able to bring with joy godliness into our lives and into this world and we should all continue to spread the teachings of the Baal Shem Tov. help me up with a like, with a sharing, with a subscribing and uh, tell your friends about this. Lechaim Lechaim. A good evoch,